Hello, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and I feel like I haven't talked to you guys for ages. I have taken an unplanned little break uh, to take care of my health, my mental health. I've been going through some anxiety lately. Um, but today I'm coming to you with a new project, with a project that I am very excited about. And yeah, let's let's have some crafty fun together. And to kind of make it a bit more cozy for myself, I have here a candle which is the scent of cinnamon and I've burned it just yesterday. And so my room is really really smelling very nice and sweet and kind of like Christmassy even so I'm going to burn it and put it right here outside of my camera okay you guys so what's been going on <laughs> is that uh, even though I have been a little bit too anxious lately to film the videos I um, I still have been working creatively, so I am currently working on seven, seven, yes, seven fairy journals, and six of them are almost over, and one of them is a very special, a uh, huge project that we are uh, making together from start to finish on my Patreon, and I can show you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. This is the cover. So this whole thing, as you can see, this has a closure here. This whole thing is, um, is so far the process videos are on my Patreon and we are going to be continuing with this journal together. Here is what the inside looks like. But the six journals um, the smaller journals that I'm working on are kind of more of my, let me show you guys, more of my, closer to my um, standard uh, sized journals. Uh, so yeah, so I have six of those in the works. They are almost done as you can see. And I was thinking whether I would like to decorate these or just leave them, you know, just leave them as they are, just papers and flowers and fabrics and beads. And I decided to do just a little bit of decoration inside. So just an ephemera piece here, an ephemera piece there. And today we are going to be making one of those. So let me put this aside. These will be coming soon to my channel. You will see the, uh, the flip through. Oops, excuse me, guys. I think I, I think my, um, my lamp just flickered on me. But anyway, uh, so today we are going to be working with my fairy garden paper pack, which is available in my Etsy shop. And we are going to be making these faux window envelopes. Uh, these are not 100% ready yet. They are not closed yet. I also want to, I think, do some stitching uh, outside here. But yeah, they are... They're close to done. Here is what they look like on the other side. And this is what we are going to be making today. But before that, let me just very quickly show you the papers because I always like to show you guys <clears throat> what exactly you get in the paper pack. So this is called Fairy Garden. The link to my Etsy shop. I have a few new paper packs and you are always very welcome to check them out in my shop. So uh, this is called Fairy Garden. I also have a new Christmassy pack, so do check it out. But this kit is everything I love. So these are my colors. There are fairies, there are flowers, pinks and purples and blues, everything. So let me give you a quick look at those papers. So we have five kind of like this, these decorative papers. And uh, there's a moon here. Some are, some are more blue, some are more purple, some are 
definitely more pinkish. There is a lot of magnolias. I love them. There are five pages with journaling spaces. And we are going to be working with these papers together, um, together, yes, together, but today, because these papers are what I'm going to be using to make ephemera for those fairy journals. And there are also five backgrounds, very kind of mixed media -y. I really, really like how this turned out. I think <laughs> these colors are messing with my um, white balance, so sorry, <laughs> sorry for that. Whoa, what's going on with the white balance in this video? Okay, anyway, <laughs> these are the papers. I hope you guys like it. I had so much fun designing these. And so what we need for today is, I'm going to be using these papers and I also have a junk mail envelope. And I measured my page, uh, so I'm going to be attaching my envelope on my pages. Let me show you guys where did I put it. Oh, here it is. So I don't know where yet, where I'm going to attach it, but I want to attach it um, vertically like that. So I measured the page and my ideal size for my envelope is 19 centimeters. So I'm going to cut my envelope to this size. And as you can see with those, I have them open, opened on three sides because I find it that when I'm working on this, this is so much easier and more comfortable to me uh, to work on an open envelope and then I will just stitch or glue those sides down. So I am opening it up here on the top, so cutting just a sliver. Okay, where's my bin here? Uh, then I am cutting the bottom to those 19 centimeters, so it's seven and a half inches in my case. It's slightly shorter or smaller, you know, than my page, just to be on a safe size side. <laughs> and um, I'm also, I'm leaving in this kind of larger edge next to the window. It's more visible maybe here. So this one I'm leaving and this shorter one I'm going to cut because here I'm going to attach probably with uh, eyelids and jump rings, but we will see. Okay, so I am cutting this shorter size, side. <clears throat> okay. Now what I want to do is I want to choose a page and on these, what I did is I kind of, as you can see, cut the window. The fairy is in the window and I really like how it looks. This is of course going to be a pocket, but I like that when you pull out or you know take out whatever is inside the pocket, the fairy will be revealed. So this is what I want to do here as well. And I'm just going to take my my window envelope and just just see which which one I like. I think I've already used this one. Not that it matters, of course, each one of these envelopes is going to to a different journal. I already have this one too, but I guess I, I kind of want them all to be to be different. I think this one is perfect. Look at this, you guys. So this nice lady is going to be picking out from the window so I am going to roughly cut out the shape or size of this that I'm going to need to cover my envelope so I did it here okay this is definitely not a new method of making um 
altered window envelopes here on my channel. This is my favorite thing to do with them. So if you're new here, hi, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. This is my favorite way of making altered window envelopes. So the next step for me is I'm taking my Sizzix machine and I have this um, die, metal die, which is a rectangle, but as you can see, it's kind of rugged. And it fits here within, you know, uh, the, the border of the window. Uh, of course, it's shorter, but that's okay with me. I, uh, I didn't have kind of this exact shape. Now, let's see where we want to cut our fairy so we can have her well pretty much exactly her exact form so i'm going to do it like this and put it through my machine this is so simple but if you don't have a Sizzix machine you can uh, probably just just cut it with your scissors and cut like a simple rectangle it would look great as well and I often do it too so I just like this rugged shape and it's not that easy to make with your scissors alrighty so you can now see how this is going to look so we will have this one here perfect we don't see any white from from the envelope and then the fairy will be on the other side of the window now what i want to do is i want to take my vintage photo distress oxide and go around her to add a little bit of definition make her pop a little bit more from behind the window and I could do the same thing for the window itself but as per usual I love my gold so I'm going to use my gold wax or gold paste this one that I'm using comes is from uh, daily art daily art but I've used different waxes gilding waxes and pastes and all of them do the job and I'm going around with my finger as per usual just putting the gold roughly on the edges to make them shine <laughs> that's what I love of course <laughs> some things just don't change no matter how uh, how long I don't I don't do them okay I really like it so now I'm going to take a glue stick just just a glue stick because I am most probably going to stitch around the edges of my envelopes so I don't need I don't need a very precise and strong method of, of gluing these two pieces together. I'm just going to add enough glue so that it stays in place until I go back and stitch around. Okay. So this is easy, I'm only making sure that I don't have white on either side of the window. Mm, I'm already feeling the, or smelling the, the cinnamon, it's, it's really nice, it's like a cinnamon cookie scent. <laughs> Very cozy. Okay, let me go around with my scissors, cut off these edges that we don't need. Clean these edges here. And 
with B with this image which is going to be here on the other side I'm just putting glue on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on this side to kind of give me an idea where I want it and then glue it down so you know just do this <laughs> like that open this up I remove a little bit of glue that I have on this side this is what it looks like now you could of course cover <clears throat> this this is not a very pretty color or at least I don't particularly <laughs> like orange but um, I don't know when it's closed it's not going to be that visible um, and I am not bothered with it and at least you know you can see that it was actually a junk mail envelope and you made it into something pretty alrighty and on the other side before we go further with decoration on the other side I would like to add one of the background pages and of course, as always, when I start filming, there's some kind of loudness going on outside my window, but... Okay, I'm thinking pink, maybe? Not that you're going to be uh, seeing those two pages side by side, because of course, this is going to be like this, uh, just, to, just to match the two, I think, this one or maybe because we do have ooh, maybe this one let's go with the pink let's go with the pink and i'm going to do the same thing just glue glue this down and cut around The, the what's, what's it called you know the truck which collects trash always always comes around when I start filming and I don't know I, I, I've never I've never figured out which days are those so today is Tuesday today is Tuesday so I need to remember that so do let me know you guys how you are please let me know in the comments i hope everyone is doing very very well let me know how you are let me know what you're working on currently like i mentioned i i have been going through a phase of anxiety and it made me a bit too anxious and I guess too self-conscious to film but what I'm planning to do and do tell me in the comments what do you think about this idea because this is something I've been thinking about and also something that actually my therapist suggested but he suggested that I because you know I'm a little bit anxious when it comes to making videos because I feel that they have to be perfect, informative, uh, inspiring, beautiful, uh, comprehensive tutorials, new things all the time. This is of course just in my own head. There is no one that told me it has to be like this. I really like it. Um, but well it's like that. Okay so j just before I go further I'm going to take 
two distress things and I'm going to take these two peacock feathers for this side. I think it's going to look really nice here and I'm going to go around this side with Victorian velvet just to add a little bit of color. As you can see here I've done it as well and I really like how it looks. I always go around with um, vintage photo but let's change it up a little bit. And I have those little um, Velcro dots and I keep my my sponges on, on here so that I don't mix the colors. So anyway, my idea and something that my, my therapist suggested is that I don't put that much thoughts into my videos and you know whenever I'm creating oh this is a perfect color I just turn on my camera and just you know just be creative with you all without thinking oh that this has to be a perfect tutorial this has to be a new idea every time because this has just been making me so anxious uh lately and I was thinking about this, like maybe making a little bit of a series out of it. I thought about calling it craft therapy. So uh, this would be like a therapeutic crafting or creating. Um, in a sense, you guys, I am like, I wholeheartedly believe in professional therapy. Uh, so it's not like going to be like therapy uh, crafting, but something that just kind of takes the pressure off and we can just be creative and I'm still going to be making tutorials because I like them and um, I love sharing my ideas with you guys but I would like to make some videos which are going to be a bit more like real life creating so I'm just whenever I I don't know maybe do something in my journal or do I don't know go through magazines looking for inspiration or for some images I can use in my journals or maybe I am binding signatures whatever I do I would like to just make some very real life process videos. I hope that they are going to be relaxing. I hope that they are going to be kind of like creating with a friend. Uh, when I make my own thing, you make your own thing, but we are still spending time together and I'm not going to have this pressure, uh, which again, I put on myself. Nobody, nobody put it on, on me, <laughs> um, but I'm not going to have this pressure that I have to come up with something new all the time. And I don't know, it's just going to be something that may be longer, maybe longer than usual tutorials. Maybe it's going to be um, a bit less edit. Well, I don't edit my videos too much, but you know, in a sense that it's going to be so natural and so real. Um, and we're just going to be hanging out, you know, I and if we create something great, if we don't, then we will just spend time uh, doing something creative together and finish next time. Tell me what you think. I hope you guys like this. I hope you... I hope you will enjoy this kind of more laid back, just turning on my camera and doing something creative for an hour or an hour and a half. And then, yeah, just, I don't know. I, I think I think I really want to do something like that because um, yeah, I just want to, I just want to create without pressure of thinking that I have to be perfect with my videos and whatever I create and I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, <laughs> but okay, let me know what you think, if you understood at all what I meant, because this was not a cohesive strain of thought. Anyway, so here I have our uh, stamped scraps that we made together a few videos back, and I'm looking for some words because I would like to make maybe a little bit, I like this create, a little bit of a collage. 
he um, I also have this create maybe this one works better because it's lighter okay let's let's go with this create and I am going to I had some scraps on I have this a scrap of book page yeah I also have my neutral scraps that we kind of organized together and I'm thinking of using some vellum perhaps uh, I think this is a piece of vellum that I just ran through my embossing machine and so I think I will just take a, take a piece of this And just make the tiniest little bit of collage under the create. Okay, and this time I'm going to use vintage photo. And these are all, as you can remember, well, if, you, if you've seen the video, we've already um, went over them or around them with a vintage photo, so they are pretty much ready to use, which I love about them. Okay, how would I like it? Something like this, perhaps? Mm -hmm. I think so. So let me use this glue stick. The glue stick that I'm using is called Magic. It is a Polish brand, but I believe it also can be found on Amazon, at least, I think, in Europe. Not sure about the States, for instance. But Yuhu, U -H -U, uh, glue stick is also very good. This one is just more easily available for me here in Poland. Okay, and then this one in the middle. Okay. I really like it. Now, 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 where's my little box of embellishments? You have to get a bit more organized here. Um, where is it? So I was thinking of adding some, oh, here it is, of adding some more gold. As you can see, I have little bits here. And so I have these uh, tiny embellies here. They are like, um, these are from some Happy Mail, some I got in craft stores. There's a lot of like confetti, those tiny stars are my faves. I got them ages ago, probably like three years ago and I'm still using them. They were super cheap, a lot of them, and I love using them for little decoration. And I'm going to be using wet glue with them. And I think I want to have two clusters of three so um, i think i'm going to go with maybe these gold sequins maybe one of those bigger ones if i can this one or do i have something in between no this one is great and maybe a few of these tiny tiny stars and so where do i want them here maybe and here here. here I'm thinking so I'm going to make three dots of glue somewhere here and start adding this glue of course it's kind of sipping through the sequins but it dries clear so it's not going to to be visible okay and then the same thing here so let's go one, two, and three. 
maybe here in the middle the sequin the little star I do it with my fingers it probably would be a bit more precise with um, with tweezers but I'm just I guess too impatient and I do it with my fingers okay so here we have these and these Alrighty, now one last step before I decide how I want to proceed with them is going to is going to be gold splatters. So let me take a few bags of those papers. And uh, I am taking a gold mist, shaking it very well, like that. And I'm going to be making splatters as per usual. You can also use uh, gold watercolor, you can use gold ink, gold uh, acrylic paint if you just uh, dilute it with water a little bit. This is the fastest option for me, so I usually do this. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to pause the video and run, uh, run these from my sewing machine. Oh, here you can see how the glue looks, you know, when it's all dry, you can barely see it. Um, I'm going, I have this nice kind of minty green thread, can I show it to you, that I used throughout, throughout here, not sure if you can see, but it really is like very light minty green, and I used it throughout this, these journals, so I think I want to Stay consistent and use it here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around here, around here, and then all of them, and then I will come back to you and I will show you how I close those envelopes and we will also figure out how we want to uh, attach them to um, the journal pages. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, they are all stitched around. I really like the effect that it gives. It always kind of makes me feel that it's this like a finishing touch. <laughs> Alrighty, so one more thing that I thought is I'm going to take uh, this gold paste and I'm going to make little markings like that, where the pocket is going to be, because I'm not going to be making any indents. But I want to make sure that, you know, it's visible that there is something here. So just roughly in the middle, not too much, but I think it's, it's a nice touch. Oh, this is the one that we made together. I really love how this fairy looks in the window. Okay, and I think we'll do one on camera and then I will finish the rest off camera. So the way that I would close the envelope, and I think because I want to add one to this journal, and this one is kind of the, the blue, the purple one, as you can see. So I think I'm going to choose this one, or maybe this, oops, it's this way, or maybe this, no, I think this, this envelope. And, um, okay, how do I close it? I think I'm just going to do it with double-sided tape so i take tape that is wider than my stitching here okay and i'm just going to add it 
like that it's going to make the envelope slightly smaller but that's okay i don't need to put such huge ephemera piece inside i haven't decided what to put inside yet Oops. it doesn't have to be as big as the envelope okay and then just lightly closing it making making it just you know close naturally and then adding a bit more pressure here on these edges and voila our envelope is closed all right so now the way i want to attach it i think i'm going to go with my favorite method lately which is jump rings and um, eyelids so what i'm going to do is this is 19 centimeters is it yes 19 centimeters so nine and a half is my middle point so let's go to one two three four up four centimeters up and do a little marking nine and a half one two three four down okay so i just added two little markings on this on this edge not the the open one okay and now i'm going to make make my holes i'm using a hole punch for my crocodile and i'm trying to do it as close to the edge as i can but not too close because uh, then you know it could tear the edge so something like this there is maybe like a half I don't know, maybe three millimeters, two millimeters space. And into this, I'm going to add eyelids. I think I'm just going to go with very simple ones. So this is the, the easy way part of this method of attaching envelopes to your pages now let me see do i have my jump rings here no i think i think they are in another box so now let's see what what page we want this on i'm thinking i have one two i have five signatures so i'm thinking somewhere in the first signature this is a nice thick paper oh this is nice and thick as well how about here we have two rather plain pages this is a nice pinky cardstock and this is a tea stained and sprayed uh, yellow lined paper but i'm thinking i love this pink and also it just it adds a little bit of decoration and then it of course is going to come out like this yep i think I think that's a good idea. So I'm kind of trying to put it in the middle of my page. Like I said, it's a bit smaller than the page, but that's what I wanted. And in the eyelets, I'm making two little marks because this is what I'm going to need. Now, this is a rather thick paper, but still I want to reinforce it. So I'm going to take probably a piece of maybe this um, background page and 
I would like to little pieces. Mm. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to have maybe this. And a similar sized one. Uh -huh. Awesome. So these two pieces, I want to glue here. And this will reinforce my uh, page. It's also a nice decoration too, but this will reinforce the edges of the page where I'm going to have my eyelids. Because you know, it's going to work. It's going to be opened and closed and we would not like our page to tear. So just a quick inking around just to add a little bit more definition to those edges and I'm going to glue them exactly or try to be exact you know where I put my markings and then of course I'm going to do the markings again to know where exactly I want my holes for my eyelids to be. Mm -hmm. And for this I'm thinking I'm going to use wet glue A little bit on, on both sides and kind of kind of in the middle. Yep. Oops, too much glue here. Mm -hmm. I really like how it looks on a page, like I said, <laughs> just a nice embellishment if if nothing else. <laughs> Nice and simple embellishment and a great, great way to use scraps as well. So even if you're not making this envelope like I am, it's an idea for, for a page edge decoration, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now I can measure again where I want my, my holes to be, here and here. bit closer to myself because I don't see and again I'm trying to be close but not too close to the edge Getting a bit, I'm getting ready to film a craft room tour for you guys. My craft room is definitely not perfectly organized yet, but I still want to show it to you. My sister visited me a few weeks ago and she's amazing with organization and she helped me tremendously. So while I'm still looking for ways to organize some things, I think, I think I would like to show it to you guys the way it is. Okay, let me look for my jump frame. I don't remember. I don't remember where I put them. <laughs> where are you guys? Where are you?
Okay, here they are. And mine are, let me, let me measure. Mine are about six, seven millimeters, something like that. And I am taking, how many do I want? Maybe two, let's start with two and let's see if we can work it out. I also have this tool and I should have two, <laughs> but I only have one and my fingers. So I am threading my jump ring through here and also through here. Now, sometimes I would use two, so I would use one for the envelope and one for the page and then join them together. But I want to see if maybe in this case, because they are a bit bigger, those rings, maybe they are going to be enough. Yeah. And by enough, I just mean that I can comfortably open and close this. So doing the same thing with the, with the top here. Uh -huh. Now closing, awesome. And here is our envelope, you guys. It opens like this. There is space for journaling or some photos. I love how this looks like. And there's, of course, our pocket. And it's such a nice page decoration too. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video, enjoyed this process. Um, I love working with junk mail envelopes and finding ways to make them beautiful and useful and add them to my journal. So I really enjoyed it. I hope you like the paper collection, Fairy Garden. Uh, you can check it out in my Etsy shop, uh, which is linked in the description box. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Do let me know uh, in the comments below what you think about this idea of this series where from time to time we would have just so, so laid back videos, very real and uh, just getting a little bit creative without like a plan without having to start and finish a project just crafting with a friend something like that <laughs> um okay guys thank you again and um yeah i will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>